this video, I'm going to prove a couple of facts. Given a positive integer k bigger than 1, we're going to show that there are infinitely many n for which tau of n can equal k, but at most finitely many n where sigma of n is equal to k. And here is the proof. Talking about proofs, if you like watching mathematical proofs all the time, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel, as this is all we do here. Okay, so note the following. Note that the devices of say p to the m are 1, p to the 1, p squared, all the way up to p to the m. That is, there are m plus 1 devises of p to the m. We want the number of devices to equal k. We want the number of devices to equal k. Oh, no big deal. Let m equal k minus 1. Then, uh, tau of p to the k minus 1 is equal to k. And just want to say something. Note that the devices of p to the m, where p is a prime. Okay. Since there exist infinitely many primes, we know that t of n equals k infinitely many times. Now, just want to say one thing about this. So that is the end of the first part of the theorem. But what I want to say is the following. You don't have to take p of a prime to the fifth power to get six. That is true. Or maybe I, let's not worry about those numbers yet. I'll fill them in in a moment. If you look at tau of 10, this is one plus two plus five plus 10. Sorry, those are the factors. The factors are one, two, five, and 10. This is equal to four. And tau of any prime cube equal four. What I'm trying to say is that four or 10, break the 10 first. 10 does not have to be p cubed. I mean, if it were, that implies that p is the cube root of 10. Okay, and there is no prime that's the cube root of 10. Shucks, there's no integer that's the cube root of 10. What I'm getting at is, yes, I guarantee you, if you take tau of 7 cubed, you will get 4. Because the divisors are 1, 7, 7 squared, and 7 cubed. Okay, and if you take tau of 13 cubed, you will get 4. But I'm saying that you can take numbers that are not in the form of a prime cube, like 10. This is not a prime cubed, but it still equals, tau of 10 still equals 4. So by no means am I saying that I gave the form 
of each and every type of number where tau of it is equal to k. I just showed infinitely many. So you, you have infinitely many, and I, and of those infinitely many, there's infinitely many of the form p to the k minus 1. But there's many others, or maybe not infinitely many, but there are others. There are others. Okay, just because there's infinitely many in here doesn't imply that I showed all, I found all of them. There can be a few others. They probably won't be infinitely many that are not of this form. But there, there can be. I showed one tower of 10 equals 4. Okay, so just wanted to make that clear. Now I want to show that there's only finitely many of these. Okay, so tower of n equals k, finitely many. Okay, finitely many ends. That is what I want to prove. If I call this proof one, proof two. Okay, recall that tower of n, sigma of n, sigma of n is bigger than n. Sigma of n is bigger than n. Why is that true? Remember, uh, n has at least two divisors, one in n. So when you add them, you'll get more than n. Of course, the only exception to that is sigma of 1, which is 1. Okay, so if you insist or prefer, I'll say e greater than or equal to. But if n is bigger than 1, this here is strictly greater than. Okay, so now let's consider sigma of 1. That's bigger than or equal to 1. Sigma of 2. That's bigger than or equal to 2. Sigma of 3. That's at least 3. All the way down to sigma of k, which is at least k. It's really bigger than k. But sigma of k plus 1 is bigger than k. Sorry, it's bigger than k plus 1 or greater than or equal to k plus 1. But it's bigger than k. And sigma of k plus 2 is bigger than k all the way down. All of these numbers are bigger than k. All right, so they can't equal k. Sigma of k plus 1 couldn't equal k. Sigma of k plus 2 couldn't equal k. Now, in these cases, it is possible that sigma of 1 can equal k. Sigma of 2 can equal k. Sigma of 3 can equal k. Sigma of k can equal k. Well, even if they all equal k, there's only finitely many. There's k of them. So, at most, there exists k values for n where sigma of n sigma of n has any chance of equaling k where sigma of n has a chance of equaling k. Therefore, there are 
finitely many n's with sigma of n equaling k. I listed all the possibilities. Maybe they'll equal k, maybe they won't equal k. But there's a most k of them. Okay, so that completes this proof. Once again, if you like watching mathematical proofs all the time, subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. That really helps the channel out. See you guys in the next video. Never forget, watch and learn.